Hello. Chews here. Um, this is going to be a little, um, kind of a weird video. Um, I don't, I didn't really want to film an eating video. I really came on here to, uh, share some news with, uh, you guys and those of you who may not have, uh, know yet, but I'll eat a little bit. So I just made some stuff, uh, peas and whole kernel corn. I've got some Mrs. Dash salt-free uh, seasoning in here. And I put some Smart Balance extra virgin olive oil butter. Mm. But I have a um, just a regular like romaine salad with balsamic honey uh, dressing. Great tomatoes and croutons. Yeah, bowl. That's pretty good. I'm not using the, um, if you heard that noise, that was my stomach. I'm hungry. Um, I'm not using the earphones today. Um, and I have. In the foil paper here, some chicken breast I just made. God, man, I am just hungry. Maybe that's gas. Excuse me, y'all. Anyway, I seasoned it with um, Mrs. Dash salt-free original blend seasoning. I also put some thyme in there. Um, a little paprika and a little cinnamon. Don't ask me why. This felt like it. Um, but I am here to um, basically talk about um, something that some of you guys may not have known. I, I posted it on my Facebook page for the I Choose ASMR channel, but I didn't um, post about it here. <laughs> um, so. I admitted myself into the hospital in the ER Thursday uh, evening. Um, I didn't know it at the time, but my blood pressure was uh, 235 over 150. Basically, I could have uh, had a stroke. So I was in there for about three days. The place is right around the corner from me, and they treated me very well. Um, you know, I knew I had high blood pressure at least a year ago. But I didn't do, I didn't take the proper steps I should have taken. And that's in regards to eating, and that's in regards to, even after buying the, the blood pressure kit, uh, I wasn't monitoring it every day like I should have. Um, and what I discovered about myself, I just want to say one thing. This chicken has no salt in it whatsoever, and believe it or not, it is still very flavorful and good. This this is this can be done. No salt in it whatsoever, and I could eat that. Um, at any rate. I um, I have been walking around for the better part of two months, um, feeling taxed, beleaguered, fatigued, even at work. Um, walking home, like I get off the bus and I walk to to my house, it, it's just kind of slow. And just looking at everybody that looked like they had energy, and couldn't figure out, you know, where where did my energy go? What happened? And it would be on, on, it was on and off, you know, the feeling. And I didn't really feel anything happening up here other than a cough. I know you guys have heard me in a couple of videos complain about a cough. Um, but I really felt taxed in the abdomen um, and on both sides of my stomach. Um, when I walked into the ER uh, Thursday evening, I thought everything was, you know, I knew I was feeling bad, but I was glad to be in there. When they told me it was 235 over 150, 
just so you guys know, for those of you who don't know, um, if your the second blood pressure number, the bottom one, if that number is over 100, that is not good. Um, and so they kept me in for three days. Um, I popped every pill in the universe, it seemed like. I was given a blood thinner. I was given a water pill injection. Um, blood pressure was checked throughout the, the course of, a, of days, like several times, so they could try to stabilize the pressure and figure out what the hell it was I needed to control things. And, um, you know, there were moments where it went really, really high, maybe because I was talking or kind of bothered about something, and then there were times when it was really like thumbs up low, which were numbers that we wanted to see. Um, I didn't realize that my body and my brain was basically in a state of uh, high tolerance for high blood pressure. Even though I know I was in pain a lot of the times, I was still going to work but I just didn't want to do anything else. Um, but couldn't figure out what the hell was happening to me. Um, and you know, it was I was doing oatmeal, I was doing bananas, uh, drinking water, sometimes not drinking water, sometimes eating and drinking a lot of stuff began to hurt me, but I was still fucking up and, and eating the things I should not have been eating, including some of the things, you know, in these videos. So, um, I just went in and glad that I did. Um, I've lost some weight as a result, some, not a lot, I'm working on that part, but, uh, my family, my mom, my cousins came, my friend John, he came and got me flowers and some Vaseline intensive care face and body lotion that I needed, <laughs> and, um, uh, it was really a nice time, and I love the people there. I actually knew two people that worked there, uh, and one of them wound up being my nurse on Friday, so that was kind of interesting, um. But yeah, I'm just saying that all of that to say that, uh, you know, I don't know what kind of videos I'm going to be making. Uh, if I do make any more videos, it'll be something like this. It won't be, um, it won't be what you're used to. It won't be what I've been used to. Um, I am not going to deprive myself uh, of something. I will make a, a choice of whatever day it will be where I will eat something that maybe has a little more sodium than I should have. Um, I just don't want to get to a point where I'm totally depriving myself of something. I think once you do that, you really go downhill. But the focus for me now is making sure that my meds are taken every day um, when I'm supposed to take them, and making sure that I'm drinking a lot of water, and making sure that I'm getting at least 30 minutes of walking, exercising, and, and making sure that I'm finding ways to eat things that are flavorful, flavorful for me without uh, being salt ridden. So um, I went to the store today, loaded up on some stuff, a lot of vegetables. So um, <clears throat> excuse me. I feel like my entire body is making noise. I bought yogurt um, salmon tons of vegetables um, it's really it it's so weird because I, I bought stuff from Aldi a couple of junk food things and I because I really had a taste for them and I was like, you know, do I throw this shit out? Like, I really don't want to throw it out. But is it okay to have just one? Like, cupcake? I bought the, you know, those little ding-dongs. I just had a taste for something like that. I still haven't opened the box. and still haven't opened the chips. But I didn't want to waste the food and throw it out. But I really have to kind of buckle down. Like, I have to get serious about this. So, um... I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me or anything like that. Just, it's information for you guys. I'm not going to be making videos. Every, you know, that whole thing has got to stop because I want to live life. And um, I really even haven't had the energy to watch any videos, which is bad. You know, it's just harder when the, when the sun is out. 
not that I'm out hanging and being, you know, outdoorsman or anything like that. It's just hard. Like, you want to do other things. But I know that I just recently got over 2,000 subscribers to the channel. Thank you guys so much for that. I do appreciate it. Even though I'm not making videos as much, I'm out there and I do appreciate it. And, um comments and everything else maybe I could possibly help someone else with this because a, a weird thing that happened I I um you know I when I wake up in the morning and put lotion on my legs and everything I just figured you know I just got some big ass calves you know so when I got to the hospital they were uh, looking at my legs and asked me you got some swelling in your legs and I said oh, not that I know it's just big and then uh, after having in some injections and they had a fluid thing where they just got all the like fluid and water out of me, I looked at my legs and I said, oh my God, dude, what kind of fucking swelling were you pretending not to have? My legs had gone down, the swelling had gone down so much, I audit sodium, I didn't even realize. I can tell a, a swollen foot, but my calves... They were, they've always been like tree trunks. You know, they, my family, that's what my cousin used to call me, a tree trunks for calves. My brother used to say the same thing. So I thought that was just what they were. Everything went down and I just, man, I had a high tolerance for that. And my brain just, you know, I didn't think anything of it. I thought I was having issues like asthma issues. Like I needed an inhaler really bad. But, um... The high blood pressure, the hypertension, it's the same thing. Uh, it en slightly enlarged my heart. And uh, my kidneys were affected. And that was the pain I kept feeling whenever I would walk down the street and try to take a breath. So, um, you know, I just want to stress to everyone, if you're new doing these videos and, you know, if you got it together, then you got it together. That's great. I thought I had it together. I didn't. So, um Drink more water. Stay away from the pop. I'm halfway there when it comes to that. But also do know that if you are a person that's on medication for high blood pressure, you have to do those meds. And even the threat of erectile dysfunction. <laughs> even the threat of that um, is too much to bear. But I'm going to do the meds because they, it just it takes any little bitty thing to make it spike up. We were talking about gun violence. My cousin, my mom, and I. And the nurse was taking my blood pressure. And it was 270 over one something. Some or gast gastronomical number. And I said, what the heck? What's going on? And then she did the other arm and I shut up. And it went down to a normal rate. I was, but yeah, so that's all I'm saying, you guys. Um, I'm going to try and do my best to eat right so that I can be around to make these videos. Um, I could have had a stroke. I could have died. It really is not a laughing matter. I'm just blessed and thankful that, um, you know, I'm still here. So with that, I wasn't really that hungry, um, but I thought I would eat a little bit for you guys. But... I just wanted to share that with you, and thank you for being with me, stick, sticking with me, even though I don't make that many videos, or not as often anymore. Rainbow Room, I'm still trying to get stuff with that, but, you know, my life change comes first. So, thank you guys, I do love you all, and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Oh, my big hand, there we go.